<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. After opening sentences, we begin morning prayer with the confession on page 79 of the Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us strive to know the Lord. His appearing is as sure as the sunrise. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble heart to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God. God. We confess yes, that we have sinned against, against you in thought or in deed, by what we have done and, and, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we, we may walk in your will, your will and we will walk in your, your ways, for the glory of your name. name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 Continuing with the invitatory on page 80, Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Your praise. Lord, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, Spirit yes. as it was in the beginning, it is now, it and now, will, be and will be forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Venite on page 82 will be read by Betty. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 107 on page 746 in the prayer book. Sage 746. We will recite the psalm responsively, alternating at the asterisk. Verses 1 through 32. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. And his, and his mercy is forever. Let all those whom the Lord has redeemed proclaim that he has redeemed them from the hand of the Lord. He gathered them out of the lands from the east and west, from the north and the south. Some wandered in desert wastes. They found no way to a city where they might be They were hungry and thirsty. Their spirits languished within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. And, and he, he delivered, delivered them, them from their distress. distress. He put their feet on a straight path. To go to, to a go to city, city where they might, they might dwell. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy. And, and the one who does for his children. For he satisfies the thirsty. And fills the hungry with good things. things. Some sat in darkness and deep gloom. Found fast misery and iron their sins. Because they rebelled against the words of God. And they despised the counsel, the counsel of the Most High. So he humbled their spirits with hard labor. 
they stumbled, they stumbled and there was none to help. to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. And, and he, he delivered them, them from their distress. distress. He led them out of darkness and deep gloom. And broke, broke their, broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy. And the, the wonders he does for his, his children. children. For he shatters the doors of bronze. And breaks, and breaks into, into the, the iron, iron bars. bars. <clears throat> Some were fools and took to rebellious ways. They were afflicted because, because of their, their sins. sins. They abhorred all manner of food. And drew, and drew near, near to death's death door. door. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. And he, and he delivered, delivered them, them from their distress. distress. He sent forth his word and healed them. And, and saved them, them from, from, the from the grave. <laughs> Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy. And the, and the wonders he does, does for his children. children. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And, and tell of his acts, acts with shouts of joy. Some went down to the sea in ships. And, and plied their, their trade, trade in deep, deep waters. waters. They beheld the works of the Lord. And, and his, his wonders, wonders in the deep. deep. Then he spoke, and a stormy wind arose. Which, which tossed, tossed high, high the waves of the sea. They mounted up to the heavens and fell back to the depths. Their, their hearts melted, melted because of their peril. They reeled and staggered like drunkards. And were at, and and were at, at their wits' end. <coughs> then, they, then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. And he, and he, he delivered, delivered them from, from their distress. distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. And quieted, and quieted the, the waves of the sea. Then were they glad because of the calm. And he and brought them the river that they were bound for. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his mercy. And, and the, the wonders, wonders he does for his children. children. Let them exalt him in the congregation of the people. And praise, and praise him, him in the council of the elders. Of the elders. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today's scripture passage will be read by Sheila. After the first lesson, we'll have some music. Oh, I invite you to mute until the end of the Apostles' Creed. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the first reading is James 5, 7 through 12. Be patient, therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient until it receives the early and the late rains. You also must be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Beloved, do not grumble against one another so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call the blessed those who showed endurance. If you have heard, uh, you have heard of endurance of Job, and you have seen the purpose of the Lord. Now the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Above all, my beloved, do not swear, either by heaven or by earth or by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, so that you may not fail, fail under condemnation. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Thanks be to God.
second reading is Luke 18, 1 through 8. Then Jesus told them a parable about their need to pray always and not to lose heart. He said, in a certain city, there was a judge who never feared God, nor had respect for people. In that city, there was a widow who kept coming to him saying, grant me justice for my opponent. For, for a while, he refused. But later he said to himself, though I have no fear of God and no respect for anyone, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will grant her justice so that she may not wear me out by continually coming. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge said, and will not, and will not God grant justice to the chosen one who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long in helping them? I tell you, he will quickly grant justice to them. And yet, when the Son of Man comes, he will find faith on earth. Will he find faith on earth? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed on page 96. We're doing right one. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, make creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary suffered under, under Pontius Pilate, he crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Catholic, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. you. Let us pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Now. Give us, Give us this day, day our daily, daily bread, bread. And, and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom, kingdom and the power, and, power and the glory, glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We're going to do suffrages B, which is on page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, them now, now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We, we praise, praise your name forever. forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have, and mercy, have mercy on us, Lord. Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our, put our, trust, our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And, and we, we shall, shall never hope, hope in, vain. in vain. Gracious Father, you gave up your son out of love for the world. Lead us to ponder the mysteries of his passion, that we may know eternal peace through the shedding of our Savior's blood, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Oh, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross so that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you. For the honor of your name. Amen. 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 Lord God Almighty, You've made all the peoples of the earth for your glory, to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance, that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, 
Hear our prayers for this fa parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us th all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 We offer prayers for those known to us in our community. After the reading of names, you may share your own prayers aloud or list them in the chat. I'm thinking Cheryl has the prayer list. Oh, sorry. I do. I just wanted to make sure. I can't see my at the same time. Okay. Um, we're giving thanks and continued prayers for Ann Parker as she recovers from her surgery. Uh, we're, we're praying for Dottie and Michael and Dave, Jill, Simon, James, Archie, Beth. Terry and Adrian. We pray also for Susan, Carol, Heather, Jane, Tom, Bill, Kathy, Kel, Sue and her sisters, Francis Hagen, Teresa, Keith and Gus, Michael, Nicole and Deb, Samuel Cornegy. The Repose of the Soul of Karen, Celeste, Astrid, and Jennifer, and Kenny. Reed Baldridge, who's recovering from a fall. Mm. Are there others you wish to mention now? Rachel, Lyndall. Right, Nellie, Carl, John, Kay. Greg Stone. My friend Crystal's son, who lives in Florida. Thank you. <clears throat> I invite any Thanksgivings you may have this morning. Friday. <laughs> I have a Thanksgiving. This is the end of my fourth week with you. Mm. And it has changed my life. Thank you. Oh, thank you for leading us, too. Thanks to all of you since since April or May or whenever I joined this, because like, like George, it has changed my life, too. I'm thankful for Here. that. That's just wonderful. <laughs> I'm thankful for you too. John Staten is doing a column in the Star News and it says, what has COVID done for you in a positive way? And I, I, I put this group down. We'll see if it makes the paper. But I, <laughs> you know. I'll have to read it then. I mean, pick up a few. Um, Rhonda gave thanks for the Way of Love group and I have to echo that too. That group has just really grown and close and um, we're going to do something different next for Advent. Linda Markinson's going to lead that group, and then we're going to continue it in January. There is a consensus to do that. Thanks for the St. James School, the children mm -hmm. and the teachers who put on their Thanksgiving pageant yesterday. <laughs> oh, wow. They were all dressed as turkeys. <laughs> And brown bags with little uh, feathers in their hair. <laughs> and the good news is the the replay of that will be available later today. Oh, good. I hated to miss it, but I got a real big dose of of reality yesterday by working at the hospital all day, and or several hours. And um, I give thanks for that because it just really keeps me grounded and in touch with um, what's truly going on in our community. Let's uh, give thanks. I'll read the general Thanksgiving on page 101. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give the most humble and hearty thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness 
to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love for the means of in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all the ages. Amen. Amen. Holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and other parishes represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy. And above all, keep us mindful to those of those to whom we, we should show the love 
and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks. Thank be to God. To God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Play ball. I need, I need Mondays. I'd send it to you. Oh, thank you. I, my cyber mess is up there somewhere. <laughs> okay. Have a great weekend. See some of you Sunday. And see you next time. See you Sunday. It's wonderful. See you.